Blue Maiden, this is Blue Bike. We have broken perimeter. Roger, Viking. Proceed to Sector 4. Let's split up. Red team's breathing down our necks. I'll decoy him south. You go the other way. Okay, Red Team wins the game. Oh, I'm your prisoner. We don't take prisoners. This is Corporal Biggs. Perimeter is secure. You know, driving a convertible is just about the greatest feeling on earth. The sun in your face, the wind in your hair. Yeah, I'm telling you, there's only one thing that feels better. Driving a convertible when you're supposed to be at work. I guess some people would call me irresponsible, but the best times in my life always come when I'm playing hooky. From school, from the Navy, from work, it doesn't matter. Just knowing that there's a rule I'm breaking makes whatever I'm doing even feel better. Of course, there is a downside. Oh yeah. Scandal. Well, it's about time. We kept this poor woman waiting for over an hour. Where is he? In jail. What? He was pulled over for speeding. Again? Cop ran a check and found three bench warrants for unpaid speeding tickets. Fine. He can sit there and rot for all I care. Maybe it'll teach him some discipline. Great. I've been looking forward to tackling a case all on my own. Confronting danger, living by my wits, overcoming incredible odds. Second thought, maybe we ought to send our lawyer down to bail him out. What happened to teaching Scandal a little discipline? Well, I'll think of something. Meantime, I'll make him drive a Yugo. Oh, Jane, will you call our attorney, send him down to traffic court, bail Scandal out again? Oh, Lord. So you don't think I can handle a case on my own? Well, I most certainly do. But having our top operative in jail doesn't exactly enhance our image as a crime-fighting organization. Nice excuse. Thank you. I think fast on my feet. 
Our profound apologies, Miss Hammaker. Oh, please sit down. Um, ma'am, how can we help you? Find out the truth about my brother's death. That's all they'll tell me. It's from the Marine Corps Reserve. We regret to inform you that Private First Class Matthew Hamaker was fatally wounded during routine training maneuvers at the Pendicott Bay Marine Reserve Base. Well, we're very sorry for your tragedy, but you might best be served by having your lawyers contact the Marines. And... They won't tell me a thing. I tried. Perhaps revealing any more details might have compromised a sensitive... The only secret in danger of being revealed is the reason why Matt was murdered. Well, forgive me, but uh, just because they won't divulge those details, that doesn't make it murder. Matt wrote me every week. Suddenly it just stopped. For two months, not a word. And two days before he died, I got this from a guy at the laundry company that services the base. He said Matt begged him to give it to me. Sounds like he didn't trust the mail at the base. Uh, Debbie, this money is very important. Don't tell anybody you have it. Put it somewhere safe until I can explain. You see that he put a lot of value on $100. But there's a good reason why Ben Franklin isn't smiling. Will you help me? We look into it. Thank you. thoroughly checked this out. They peeled it apart, microscopic layer by microscopic layer. And guess what they discovered? It's an ordinary $100 bill. <laughs> I can see you're devastated. I just called in a couple of markets from over at the Pentagon. Now, how'd you like to go undercover and at the same time help me teach Scan a little lesson in discipline? I will pay you for the privilege. Talking to me, mister? Danielle, what are you doing here? It's Major LaPointe to you, Private. You're a Major? Isn't it customary to salute a superior officer? How come, how come Dallas made you a Major and me a Private? Because I don't have speeding tickets. Now, where's that salute? Give me a break, Danielle. I mean, I've had a rough day. I spent the morning in jail. I'm driving this heap. And I'm heading for boot camp, so I'd appreciate it. I'll give you a rough day. If I don't see a crisp military salute this minute, I'll have you scrubbing latrines until dawn. Is that clear, Private? That's more like it. You're enjoying this, aren't you? I haven't even begun to enjoy this. At ease. Thank you. Dallas got me in as a major overseeing medical administration at the base. I got a look at Matt's records. What killed him? A bullet. Apparently, he was killed while cleaning his weapon. Anyone witnessed the accident? Sergeant Brock Thorne. 
He's a career soldier with experience in Grenada, Kuwait, and Somalia. You have to wonder what he's doing at Petticoat Bay. <laughs> well, ask him yourself. He's your commanding officer. That'll be all, Private. Papers. What's your name, soldier? Stony Pendleton, your new recruit, sir. Transferring from Danville, Corporal Big Sir. Your uniform is creased in all the right places. Your stance is ramrod straight. You show the proper respect to your superior officers. You think that's what I want? Yes, sir! Think again, kiss ass. Maybe out in Danville they bought the starch uniforms and the yes sirs, but not me. I know who you are. I know what you are. And I can see that smug grin you think you're hiding. I'm gonna break you, Private. I'm gonna ride you till you're crying for your mommy in the mud. You understand me? Yes, sir! Get this man out of my sight. Yes, sir, Sergeant Thorne. Follow me, Pendleton. Sergeant, by addressing me with respect. As you wish, Major. Your job is to train these men not to kill them. My job, Major, is to make these boys into Marines. You don't do that by coddling them. Better they should die because of weakness here than on the battlefield where they could take down a platoon of men with them. The next time one of these Marines need rest, you give it to him. Unless you'd prefer to rest yourself on suspension, is that clear, Sergeant? Private, help me take this man to the infirmary. Yes, sir! Hey, ma'am! Major! Excuse me, sir. Look, I can take care of myself. I don't want to get you in any more trouble. I don't mind. Yeah, you will. There's a ghost divider in Hammocker's foot locker. He stashed a stack of money there. Hello! Sir! 
You're not still thinking, are you? No, sir! Good, because I want you to have a clear head when you wash every latrine on this base. Yes, sir! Now move out! What are you people doing standing around? Move it! Let's go! We got the move! Attention! The enemy is being assembled at Point Charlie, four miles north of our present location. Your mission is to get an accurate count of enemy troops and proceed to Point Delta without being detected. You have three hours. Now move out. Blue team approaching the west. Yellow team from the east. Red team remains with me. Corporal Big. Thank you. Let's move it! Not as busy as you, Pendleton. Lose your way? What the hell are you doing here? I got lost, sir. Thought I stumbled on the enemy, sir. There you go thinking again. Get this grunt back on course. I watched him through the woods, sir. He knew what he was doing. He was tracking the red team. Keep an eye on him, Biggs. If he strays again, shoot to kill. Yes, sir. No, thank me. I could have waited until she was done. Thank you. Dallas ran a check on those trucks you saw. They're registered to the Holland Corporation in the Cayman Islands. 
heck of a commute. Mm. Cough. He's a friend for Thomas Holland. Hmm? Yeah, the guy whose cocaine smuggling operation the DEA busted up last year. Uh. Now he's in league with someone on this base. You know, just think we spend a fortune in tax dollars to bring people like that to justice, and he turns around and uh -huh. uses our military as his own uh -huh. private courier service. Makes me sick. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Dallas wants to analyze the money he found in the Foot Locker, but you can bet the trail's gonna disappear in the Cayman, so it's up to us. Uh -huh. To stop Holland's pipeline on this end, and believe me, I'm going to enjoy every second of it. Oh. No. Something wrong? No. Okay. No, I'm fine. Good. And let's get moving, Private. Okay. Huh? Damn. We have to make this look real. You never know who's watching. It's easy for you to say. I've got a major's bars to protect. Drop them private. Drop them. to be battle-ready and assembled in front of the barracks. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Well, looky here. We've got us a soldier boy. I guess I'm supposed to be happy that you're better than the rest of the recruits, soldier boy. No, sir! I'm not. This unit moves as a team. We don't want one boot-licking hot dog trying to show up his brother Marines. No, sir! Company, fall out! Right. And soldier boy... You will stay with your unit, because if you get lost again, I'll personally declare you AWOL. Is that clear? Yes, sir! Now move out!
you won't invite me, I'll just have to crash the party. Sir, I know. Take care of it, Corporal. I'm gonna love it here at Petticoat Bay. And back at Danville, they never let us use real bullets for our maneuvers. Never. What the hell are you doing here? I'm just trying to be all I can be, sir. We're chasing those bastards down, sir. They won't get away from us. Good. Keep one of them alive. I'll want to talk to him. Oh, and Corporal, I caught Private Pendleton trying to go AWOL. Take him back to the barracks and hold him until I arrive. Yes, sir. Threatening a superior officer. No. It's probably the same as the one for impersonating an officer. Miss the point. There's no reason to be mad, Miss LaPointe. Well, maybe I don't like having a gun shoved in my face. Especially by a reporter from the Bay City Post. I couldn't take a chance you'd blow my cover. That I'd blow your cover? Yeah, I don't know what kind of people Cobra has working for them. If I could find out who you were, so could someone else. And yet you've decided to take me into your confidence anyway. Oh, how touching. Well, pretty well had to after all you've done for me. So you actually understand gratitude? No, I just figured that if Thorne got onto the two of you, he'd figure I was part of your team. So, how do you want to divvy up the work from here? Cobra doesn't divvy. This time you do. I've spent the last four months undercover following Holland's money trail. I think I've finally found the end of the line. How do you know Holland is involved? Those men who attacked the warehouse work for the Santana organization. Holland's chief rivals in the cocaine trade. Exactly. And there's a mob war going on, and Holland has his Uncle Sam working on his side. This is the story that's going to get me the bullet, sir. There are lives at stake here, and all you can think of is prizes? No. I'm thinking of Matt Hammaker. You knew Matt? Yeah. He was helping me out. 
until his mysterious accident. My Pulitzer will be dedicated to him. How thoughtful. Look, I can blow your cover, or you can blow mine. Or we can work together and put Thorn behind bars. It's your choice. Okay. On one condition. Sorry, I don't share bylines. You clear every move with me first. Yeah, I could say the same thing to you. Yes, you could. But if you did, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> I like you, Danielle. I think we're going to make a great team. Sarge don't like it when recruits disobey orders. It makes them mad. Real mad. I suppose he likes it when his trusted assistant lets him get a knife in the... You shut up. Does he like that? Guess you can always say you're following orders, huh? Shut up! Corporal Rich. Yes, sir. You're dismissed, Corporal. You know, your little lap dog can use a few more sessions with a trainer, sir. Don't push me, Private. You did good work out there today. Almost good enough to make me forget that you were disobeying orders. You should see what I can do when I have real bullets. I intend to. At ease, Private. This unit is on a covert mission sending military supplies to another government fighting the good fight against the spread of tyranny. Obviously, we've been compromised. Obviously. We have one more convoy before the boats arrive to take the shipment. Whoever guards the trucks could face another enemy attack. This is an invitation, sir. Invitation to hell. Are you man enough to accept? I can handle it. Good. But keep one thing in mind, Private. We're going into a combat situation. The first order you disobey is the last thing you'll ever hear. You understand me? Yes, sir. Is there supposed to be a staff meeting today? This is the staff meeting, Private. Why aren't you here? Because Sergeant Thorne wouldn't let me leave base. This'll have to do. Well, how very convenient. However, there's been a new development. Uh, Clifton Campbell, Bay City Post. Mr. Fitness. Yeah, well, I'm a writer, not a soldier. Well, I've read your stuff. You're a better soldier. By the way, I did a check on that uh, cash you found. It's federal money from a drug sting that went bad about nine months ago. Let me guess. Thomas Holland. You got it. Last shipment's today. Then the boats arrived to get it, whatever it is. Danny, my duty starts at 1430. You don't have much time to get back. Well, then I guess we make our move, huh? We? What is this we stuff? You're going home, practice your spelling. We take it from here. We've had experience of this sort of thing, and Thorn plays rough. The pen is mightier than the sword. I'm out of here. You get your story. Whatever we find, we'll pass on to you. Just please stay out of our way. Remind me to cancel my subscription to the post.
Keep your eyes open, Private. Yes, sir. Boxes are full of money. There must be millions of dollars on this truck alone. And it all belongs to Thomas Holland. This is how he's getting his drug profits out of the U.S. My guess is from here it goes by boat to the Cayman Islands. It's got the U.S. Marines protecting his money all the way. Our tax dollars at work. That amateur must have found out and was killed for it. Well, you better get going before the same thing happens to you. Now go. be here that's how you get the best story being where you're not supposed to be that's also how you get yourself killed now let's go i can handle myself you're forgetting i've seen how you handle yourself you're lucky you haven't died tripping over your shoelaces now let's get out of here i am not leaving here until i get the evidence for my story i have got the evidence all night i mean we won't have to go looking for it lower your weapons that's an order they don't take orders from you I'm Major Danielle Lapointe, and I'm conducting an investigation for the Pentagon into Sergeant Thorne's activities. So unless you'd like to join him in a court-martial, you'll lower your weapons. I don't know who you people are, who you're working for. But I know one thing. You're about to die. Guess there'll be some empty pages in your photo album. Make it quick, and return to base. With pleasure, sir. Big, sir. They got away. Damn it, Biggs. Take them out at all cost. That's an order. Killing your enemy 
is watching the life ebb out of his eyes. I'm going to enjoy watching you die. Yeah. Well, enjoy. Yeah. Superman, but believe it or not, Clark Kent can write. Well, I hope we left Cobra out of it. Completely. According to this article, Clifton Campbell single-handedly defeated a platoon of corrupt Marines <laughs> and brought down the entire Holland criminal empire. Well, not bad for a man who can't climb a rope. The least he could have said was that he was indebted to an unidentified female officer, without whose skill, courage, and intelligence he could never have succeeded. Men. They have such big egos. Speaking of which, where's Scandal? Oh, seems a while he's out in the woods playing war games this morning. He forgot he had a court appointment. The Honorable Judge Erwitz does not take no shows lightly. So is he in the slammer? Doing time in the big house, wasting away on death row? Well, nothing quite so drastic, but he is learning some discipline. Ten more miles of highway to clean! Yes, sir. 